Hey guys, your boy Kurt Bears, and welcome to the Premier Review. Ooh, where I talk about the results from the Premier League. Hey, hey, let's jump straight in. And you know where I'm going to start. You know where I have to start. The empty hat! Hey! Sterling, what's the score? Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah, that's right, Raheem. It was 4-1 to Liverpool. Liverpool play. Manchester City off the bar and the place was empty. Hey, there was nothing but blue seats. <laughs> it was brilliant. <laughs> yeah, they did get a consolation goal from sloppy goalkeeping and sloppy defending. But it didn't really matter in the end, did it? No. Oh, continuing from in. Oh, we're like. To, to the same person. They were pretty much the same person. They were on this. They, they were on the same wavelength. SAS didn't have that much chemistry. He seriously. He. There was plenty of times where Suarez and Star didn't pass to each other, even when it was the most obvious. Is for me. Oh, and Continuo were involved with it all. All three of the first half goals. 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 Unfortunately, they were both off the pitch when the fourth one went in. But it didn't matter at that point. So yeah. 4-1. Satisfactory. So Sterling, if you're watching this, you know, comment down below. What was the fucking score, you dirty, rotten scumbag? Enough about Merseyside's red team, because the blue side Merseyside also scored four. Oh, but then again, they beat Villa. So, on one hand, good result for Everton. Hmm. Um, yeah, but your opposition, it shouldn't be taken away from them because they beat Villa. But, you know, it seems like it's far too easy to beat Villa right now. They just don't seem to have any confidence. I think the January transfer window will hugely impact whether Villa stay in the Premier League or go down. If Villa make the right signings and get the confidence back into the team that he, he, he will have the chance to survive. If they don't and and they will be gone. And looking at that team, I can't see. He, I I don't have any confidence that they'll be coming back. We may never see Villa again. It might be a Leeds type situation. Except these were actually good at one point. Villa haven't been good since the eighties. Sorry, Villa fans. It's it's true, seriously. Anyway, let's we go from one struggling Premier League team to another, and we come to U Chelsea, who finally won a game. I know it sounds crazy when you think this is Chelsea's first win in weeks, not including the Champions League. Eek. So that came out of nowhere, Diego Costa. Pulled that go out of his ass. This is just when Mourinho needed it. Will it change Chelsea's fortunes? Uh, let's not get ahead of ourselves. We'll see how they get on in their next match. But right now, Chelsea, he can relax and say, Okay, we've got that first win. Let's push on and get more. Oh, so we don't get relegated. <laughs> because they're not getting top four. No way. Leicester have a better chance of getting top four more than Chelsea. Hell, Leicester have a better chance of winning the title than Chelsea do of getting top four. Anyway, speaking of Leicester, they were actually the next game in with a 3 0 win over Newcastle. So, are you, Jordy? You, he's, you might want to mute this. So, yeah, Vardy Ulola. I said his name wrong. 
and um, Okanzi, Okanzi, probably said his name wrong as well, because foreign names, I can't pronounce them, you people, you guys know this, I don't know why I still have to explain, so yeah, standard 3-0 win, Vardy, he scores again, Hmm. Just adding more value to who his sale price when he has sold in his January transfer window or the summer window because you know he's going to be sold. I mean, the money will be coming in. Can less. What Lester need to do is just to spend that money. He wisely don't. Take financial advice from Brendan Rogers and you'll be grand. Anyway, we go from um, a team who seemingly want to win the Premier League title in Leicester to a team who said, No, we're, no, we're good. Just get in top four. Yeah, we had a chance to take top up again and we fucked it up. Yes, it's Arsenal who lost 2 1 to West Brom. <laughs> Um, remind me again, why didn't you sign a world-class striker or a center defensive mid? Especially now, because Coughlin got injured! He's out for two months! I mean, I can imagine our, all Arsenal fans are like this when they heard that news. They were probably like, no, not Coughlin, not two fucking months! <laughs> I mean, if... A, if I know Coutinho went off against Man City. If I heard Coutinho was out for two months, I'd be I'd be like that as well. So I can only imagine what you Arsenal fans are going through. Who you just lost? It's a really good chance to go top of the table. Who again? And you lost one of your best players. Not gonna lie, despite he being. One of your youngest, he is definitely a really good player. Anyone can see he, the talent that Cockland does have. So, yeah, bad day at the office for Arsenal. Oh, but someone who didn't have a bad day at the office was Manchester United. They beat Watford 2 1, albeit through sheer dumb luck. Seriously, they should not have won that match. Troy Deeney must hate his luck. He scores to give Watford an historic point, even though they were at home. It would have been a historic point for Watford. And, no, uh, of course not. Of course it hits Deeney. Of course it's gone in. Of course it's an on goal. Of course it's three points for Manchester United because they're so fucking lucky. But you don't win a title through luck, Louis Van Gaal. You win it through skill. Bad luck will cost you a title, but good luck will not win you one. Trust me. Luck will not have a say in whether you win the title or not unless it's bad luck. Good luck won't save your shit. Unless your name is Manchester C. Anyway, we go from a team who didn't have a convincing win to a team that did. Spurs 4, West Ham 1. And wow. So, yeah. Dimitri Payet uh, is the embodiment of West Ham. Wow, him, they're shit. Pretty much sums up that. Yep. Don't you need to talk about 4-1? Two four ones at the weekend and one four nil. There were a lot of goals this weekend. Hell, Leicester scored three. A lot of goals. Yeah. And on to another game that had four goals between the two teams. 
This time, it had Swansea 2, Bournemouth 2. Bournemouth were very unlucky in this. They were 2 nil up! They were 2 nil up! That was, that was probably Bournemouth's best chance to get a win in the Premier League. Because they're not going to get many better chances than that. Because Swansea is a team that is really on Bournemouth's level. I mean, you know, if you look at Bournemouth's team, you just say they're good enough, but not good enough to stay in the league. I mean, everyone was assuming Bournemouth would go straight back down, and it's looking that way. And if they can't pick up wins against Swansea, who are they going to pick up wins against? I, I don't know. I really don't. I, I, I really cannot help you, Bournemouth. I really can't. And, um, anyway. On to the, uh, two games left here. Her next game is Southampton's 1-0 defeat to Stoke. Bojan with an He go. Also give the Potters all three points. It's... The Saints are sad. And of course the Monday Night Football that Justin it has a of when I'm recording this is it literally just finished. It's a late Jermaine Defoe goal who gives Sunderland their second win of this sin. And, and if you're a Newcastle fan this has got to be terrible. Not only did you your team lose, but your most hated rivals was won as well. Wow. Yikes. <laughs> but yeah. Um. That's it. I think I've six. I've covered all the matches. That was um. That is what happened this week. Okay. And these games. I will see you all next week. Week. After another set of games. Until then, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you all soon. Peace.